Hi. You know, if I were a Muslim, I wouldn't want to be in Mecca right now. <laughs> you know, we might have gotten a foreshadowing of what happened in Mecca. I mean, what might happen in Russia, in, in Mecca, due to that thunderbolt and lightning bolt and the wind knocking over that crane over, you know, and then the fire that just recently happened. Could be a bad omen of what's going to happen. And the reason why is the reason why I feel I would not want to be a Muslim in Mecca right now is because Putin, or Putin, if you want, yeah, from Russia is now on the verge of destroying ISIS in Syria. And when he does, he'll become like the greatest man in the world because if you, de if you destroy Sunni Islam, hands down, you'll become the greatest man who ever lived next to Jesus Christ. You know? Uh, and I have a feeling that Putter is going to destroy Sunni Islam by wiping out ISIS. But in the process of doing it, he is going to totally dash Oblamer's dreams of setting up a caliphate and becoming the caliph. Uh, I think uh, Oblamer uh, got rid of Gaddafi. He armed and gave air cover to uh, Al Qaeda and overthrew Gaddafi. They shoved a I'll kind of shed a, like a rifle up his cut off his butt. I tried to do that with uh, Mubarak, but Mo, thank God for the Egyptian uh, military overthrew the Muslim Brotherhood that Oblamer installed in Egypt, and that failed too. And then he tried to do the same thing in Libya, but thank God for Puder going in there and stopping it. The thing is, though, in the process of doing that, Puder is going to look like a great man. And Oblamer is going to look like a big, stupid, idiot Muslim who uh, was doing little pinpricks to make it look like he was going after ISIS that was uh, raping little girls and burying them alive and stuff like that. Uh, in implementing a Quran, uh, I mean, a Sunnah Abu Dawud 2020 50 and Sahih Muslim 834.32, which allows Muslims to rape, you know, captured women. Even in the presence of the husbands or unbelievers, according to Quran, according to Sun, according to Sunan Abu Dawud two and fifty, Oblamer is going to look like he was really on the wrong side of history and like really bad. And Puder is going to like just pat Oblamer on the head and say, "You nice, nice, you nice, you know, and you know, and boot him and stuff like that. Just make him look like a total wimp, idiot for standing on the side of ISIS." when he could have easily destroyed ISIS by going, instead of going after abandoned pickup trucks, you know, really actually going after ISIS. But Puder is going to really actually go after ISIS and become a, a fantastic man, a great man, greatest man ever lived, I think. So, because I think Oblamer now probably does not, I think after this humiliation and the destruction of his caliphate, I think Oblamer probably no longer is a, a Muslim. I think he probably is now an atheist and uh, is no longer regarding the god of his fathers, you know, Islam. Which tells me, since I think Oblamer is pure evil, he will try to turn the world against Puder by making it look like Puder nukes Mecca, or nuked Mecca. You know, he'd look, he'd, yeah, it hasn't happened yet. But anyway, there is a Russian submarine in reach of destroying Mecca right now. Using, uh, it has like 20, 200 uh, nuclear warheads, and they can each, well, each, one can hit Mecca easily from where that submarine is located right now. But I think what a blamer might do to try to turn the world against Puder is to frame Puder to make it look like he nuked Mecca with that submarine. So, if I were a Muslim, I wouldn't want to be in Mecca right now because I think a blamer just might nuke Mecca to try to frame Puder. And you know something? <laughs> the way people are seeing the threat with the invasion going into Europe and stuff like that, I think that might make Puder even greater if a blamer does that. And then the only way a blamer could uh, take the spotlight off of Puder is by going after Iran. And uh, you know, in other words, a blamer not only get destroys uh, Mecca, wiping out Sunni Islam, and hurts 
uh, Shia Islam, since they bowed to Mecca also, he might after go, he actually might go after Iran also, due to such a bad deal he had with Iran, giving him away everything. So, again, if I were Muslim, I would feel awfully uncomfortable about being in Mecca in the next two days. I maybe the next three days, somewhere around there. I just wouldn't want to be. If I were a Muslim, I definitely wouldn't want to be in Mecca right now because I think they might have a sky burst over their overhead pretty soon. By O'Blamer trying to frame Pooter, since Pooter really is stealing his thunder by actually going into Syria and destroying the evil that is ISIS, which was O'Blamer's caliphate. He was used, yeah, because O'Blamer was was O'Blamer not only armed ISIS and trained. He actually gave them air coverage to try to overthrow Assad. And now Russia is going in there with ant with uh, surface-to-air missiles to shoot down our planes to keep that from happening. So, Pooter raided the game. Destroyed the Sunni Muslim caliphate that Obama was so bent on setting up. And is now on the verge of destroying ISIS and making Obama look really stupid for being on the, on the wrong side of history. And now, the only way a blamer can try to turn the world against Pooter is to make it look like he used that submarine and nuked Mecca. So, again, if I were Muslim, Mecca, I would be feeling very uncomfortable right now.